Hey guys, Snake Doctor here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Mount Baker Vapor. Uh, many of you guys know that I have uh, smoked on and off from the age of 14, and about six months ago, got on some rough times, and I uh, picked it up again, about a pack a day, maybe a day and a half, smoking about a pack a day and a half. Not the greatest use of my money, but um, what can I say? I get stressed and I smoke cigarettes. Today we're going to be doing a review of Mount Baker Vapor because I actually have quit smoking cigarettes. I have switched to electronic cigarette. I picked up um, from the Volcano Vapor Cafe here in Olympia, Washington, a Volcano Inferno. Got it for uh, probably on the high end of uh, $81, uh, but when you figure I'm paying seven eight bucks for a pack of cigarettes every other day or every day and a half it's paid for itself already and I'm two weeks into this so uh, my first flavor I didn't know anything about it other than seeing friends at work um, smoking these uh, electronic cigarettes and they said go check out the volcano vapor cafe they've got everything there you're gonna need first off they have phenomenal customer service I highly suggest them if you want something from your local town here in Olympia. Now, my first flavor I got from them was menthol burst. I used to smoke menthols. I wanted something that was going to be similar, so I went with the menthol burst. But after a couple weeks of that, I decided, you know, let's try something a little bit different. You know, get something a little, a little variety in my day. So I decided to uh, check out Mount Baker Vapor on. Uh, the suggestion of uh, my friend Corey from work. Um, first off, Mount Baker Vapor, phenomenal customer service. Um, their website was easy to browse, um, easy to read, great reviews. Um, they've got live chat with uh, their customer service if you've got questions. Oh, another thing with the live chat, at the end, they give you a 10% uh, coupon code to put in which I used off my very first order. Um, another thing they've got, fast shipping. I put my order in Friday afternoon. I knew I probably wasn't going to get it for a few days because, hey, it's Friday. But I put it in Friday afternoon. It was here Monday morning. Um, now, obviously, I had to wait till I got home from work. But it was here Monday morning. So on to the flavors I got. I got fudge brownie, cider fire, peach rings, and Dutch apple pie. Now today I'm only going to be reviewing the fudge brownie and the cider fire because I've only got two tanks and um, with this type of setup you can't really switch out flavors too easily so I'm going to go with the for this video the fudge brownie and the cider fire. Now starting with the Volcano Inferno one I gotta say I love it just the setup for me is perfect it's easy to fill I don't have to fill it every five minutes and it lasts me, one tank will last me all day. Now, going on to the flavors again, fudge brownie. Let's check it out. Not a lot of vapor on that hit. We'll try another one. That was a lot better. Now, it still gives a decent amount of vapor, at least for my personal tastes. Um, you're probably going to want to change your uh, voltage um, if you want a lot more vapor. Maybe change your mixture. I went with an 80-20 mix. It's 80 PG, 20 VG. Um, I got the fudge brownie with two extra shots of flavor. It's got a nice throat hit. Um, not too strong. My wife tried it, um, but she didn't really like it. She said it was too strong for her. I don't want her to get into this anyway. There's no reason for her to be smoking. Uh, but straight out of the box, um, there was no steeping involved with with this uh, tank here because, hey, I was excited. I couldn't wait. So straight out of the box, you do get the chocolate off of it for the fudge. You get the fudge taste. Um, but not a lot of brownie yet. You also get... A perfumey or a chemical taste 
straight out of the box. Now I'm hoping I'm going to let it steep, um, which let it sit for a few days in a dark corner, take the lid off for about 24 hours, then cap it off and let it sit for a few more days. Hoping that after um, you know a week or so of steeping, that it brings out more of that fudge brownie flavor and a lot less of the perfume or chemical taste. But hey, it was pretty good. The other flavor that we're going to be reviewing today is Cider Fire. Now this also came with my Volcano Inferno. I got two batteries. This one is a little bit smaller. It's missing the center um, ring that kind of covers up the middle there because it's on my big one. Um, but this will fit right in your pocket. Hide it there. No one has to know. Take it out. Vape on it. All right, so this is Cider Fire. It's an apple cider mix um, that's supposed to be a little spicy. It's, got a, it's supposed to have a cinnamon kick to it. So let's give it a taste. Now this one has decidedly less vapor than the fudge brownie. Um, I don't know if that's just from the mix. All of the juices that I get are 80-20. Um, the original juice that I got from Volcano Vapor Cafe here in Olympia was an 80-20 mix, and I really liked it. had just the perfect amount of vapor for me. Um, this one doesn't have a whole lot of throat hit to it. I thought it would have a little more throat hit. And not a whole lot of vapor on my Inferno. It's not bad, though. Um, getting a little bit of apple there. A lot of spice. A lot of spices. And I'm still getting that perfumey or chemical taste with it. It's not a bad taste. It's just something that I hope will go away with steeping. And um, seeing as I'm very new to this, um, I'm really on week three. I just haven't even finished my first bottle of juice yet. The... The menthol burst. Um, I'm hoping that with a little more experience, I'll get used to you know what things are supposed to taste like right out of the box, and what they're supposed to taste like after steeping for a while. And again, you know, the steeping is you're going to let it sit for a while. You're going to take it out, let it get some air. Um, you know, they just mixed this a couple days ago, fresh, and the chemicals in it haven't had a chance to bond. So steeping gives it that chance to bond. Now, for my next video, probably in a week or so, we'll see, I'm going to be reviewing the peach rings and Dutch apple pie. Now, another thing about Mount, about Mount Baker Vapor is they'll throw in a freebie for you. Didn't even order it, but they threw in a freebie for me. They sent me cantaloupe. Now, as some of my family and friends may tell you, I am not a huge cantaloupe lover. And it took me a while to figure out why the heck did they send me cantaloupe, but then I thought, Cider Fire, Apple Cider, Peach Rings, and then Dutch Apple Pie. Well, now I understand. I had a lot of fruit in there, so they threw in a fruity flavor. Um, but anyway, I might give it a try. I might not. I might give it away. I'll at least try it once. Um, I'll probably throw it into my next review or the one after, and we'll see how it goes. But I'm not a huge cantaloupe lover. Anyway, guys, I'm Snake Doctor, mountainbakervapor.com. I'll throw a link to it in the bottom here. And um, Volcano Vapor Cafe here in Olympia, Washington, I'll throw a link to their page as well.